two, three. Nathan, are you hurt? No. I'm Olivia. This is Ellie with police officers. My mom. She's dead, isn't she? Yes, Nathan. I'm sorry. by herself. Okay, well, we'll wait till they bring her down. And I'm not staying in some foster care. I'm staying here. Nathan, let's talk about that later. Right now, the doctor's going to check you out and make sure that you're okay. I couldn't see the guy. I couldn't see what he really looked like. Nathan, we can't worry about that now. They were yelling at him. My mom said she was going to call the cops. What were they fighting about? She was trying to make him leave. He started hitting her. Did your mom know that you were hiding in the closet? I go there when she's got company. Does she have company a lot? Yeah. Where's your dad? Dead. Stabbed when I was six. Nathan. Do you have any family that we can contact? If they're close by, we could arrange for you to stay with them. Can you find Aunt Gina? Is that your mom's sister? No. I call her Aunt Gina because she was my mom's best friend. She lived with us, but then she left. So it's Gina's last name. Oh, Royal. When'd she leave? Three months ago, maybe. But we thought she got locked up. You know what for? Crystal meth. This stuff is so bad. It makes people crazy. Is your mom using it too? She was going to stop for good. Nathan, there was nothing you could do. I used to get it for her. She was too sick to get her herself. You know where your mom's dealer lives? Yeah. DJ. I hate that guy. I need to talk to you, DJ. Look, man, I ain't caring, all right? Then you can search me. Look what I found. Worth a few grand. Can't pin that on me. Yeah, but I might be able to pin a murder on you, DJ. A what? The rape and murder of Monica Phelps. No, 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 no. I did not murder her. So what should I use? Lemony Goodness or Mount Stream? Tell us what Gina Royo is. Look, man, I don't know any Gina. And I'd be an idiot to kill Monica. My best customer. So what's the hook you're doing with enough ice to open up her own dealership? If she had a heavy habit. Or maybe she was trying to get in on your game. She was working at a hot dog stand. She wouldn't be frying Franks if she was dealing. That wasn't our help. Very. I'm sorry Monica's dead, but I gotta tell you, I was gonna fire her anyway. Why? Got it missing shift, so she come in so hopped up that I had to send her home. Thanks. This is a very demanding job. Gotta be sharp. Well, has Monica had any trouble lately? Maybe with a boyfriend? Doubt it. All she cared about was her next fix. Uh, did she have a locker? Yeah. Hey, could you take her stuff? We need the space. It's 
sweater, gum, lip gloss. I'm taking up that much space. There's something down there. You gotta get in the hot dog business. How much? Fifteen grand. Stolen? Not from work. Boss says he dove his register was short 15 cents. Well, why work at that hot dog joint if she had access to all that cash? I wasn't living money. That was partying money. And a hell of a lot of tricks to turn while Nathan hid in the closet. Had to come from somewhere else, huh? Where's the son? It's in the crib. He wants to stay here tonight. I don't think spending one night here could do any damage. If he feels safe, then it might even help. Hey there. Sorry about the PJs. We'll go pick up your stuff at the apartment tomorrow, okay? There's nothing there I want. You're gonna send me to a home tomorrow, aren't you? I know it. Nathan, I won't send you anywhere until you're ready to go. Gina? We're still looking. Okay. Couldn't find any records about her being arrested. But we did find a lot of cash in your mom's locker at work. You have any idea how it got there? From the good people. They give you money if you're poor. Is that a church? No, they just help you. They gave my mom money to go to school. You could sleep? Sure. You know, I could stay if you want to. I know sometimes it's hard to sleep in a strange place. No, you can go. Okay. Good night. Detective Vincent? One time, the good people gave my mom money to get out of jail. I didn't want to tell you, because I just didn't. That's going to be very helpful, Nathan. Thank you. Good night. Detective Vincent? Yes, Nathan. You can stay if you want. I mean, for a little while. How about if I just stay till you fall asleep? Yeah, that's good. The court record says you bailed out Monica Phelps. Yes, I did bail Monica out. She'd been doing so well, but... Amphetamine is a tough habit to kick. What exactly is it? I painted my nails this morning. It's called Triple tomorrow. Passion, and it will be matching my outfit for today. So, I'm excited about that. Very sorry, Nathan. Nathan, we think the same man who killed your mom killed Gina, too. Can you think of anybody that both Gina and your mom would have known? No. Where am I going to go now? want to go back to the station? Well, then that's where we're going to go. Her personal effects, clothing, jewelry, plastic bag, and a voucher for what was in the plastic bag. What's that? $7,000 cash. Where the hell is all this money coming from? Check out the rubber bracelet. So I'm 3822. It's me. Make haste to help me, O oh Lord, my salvation. My salvation? I thought they didn't know Gina. 
Look how many people we serve. It's impossible to keep track of everyone. You don't keep records? We do. Break them out. Why? Because two people you helped are dead, and they both had a lot of cash on them. Money train starts here. I told you, we don't give out large sums. So maybe they stole them. Show us your financial records. So that's what this is about. What? Our records are private. You have no legal right to them. And I'm disgusted by this witch hunt. What are you talking about? Ted has dedicated his life to helping people others would consider trash. Addicts, whores, and degenerates. And he gets nothing in return. Tell that to whomever sent you. Well, she's got nothing to hide. No, not at all. Subpoena her anyway. Don't need to. I checked the dockets. Ed Carthage is being investigated by the state attorney general. I subpoenaed his office for the records instead. It's a lot less trouble. Investigated for what? Embezzlement and fraud. And the charity? Now, Carthage funds every dollar of the charity himself. His business interests are being investigated. Real estate investments, construction companies, finance firms. It must be worth millions. Actually, it may be worth nothing. His partners believe he's been shifting money between the charity and the businesses, trying to hide the fact the money's going out, but nothing's coming in. Well, we got a couple dead women who came into a lot of money. He wrote checks to a lot of live ones, too. I don't get it, Vivian. Why did Ted Carthage give you $14,000 in 11 months? It was a loan. He wrote you eight checks. Yeah, they were all loans. For what? Personal expenses. Yeah, I can see that. Nice crank bugs on your face. You're a pig. You ever pay those loans back? Don't forget, we can check your financial records. I mean, it was a present. Excuse me. Katie, we know you cashed a check for $2,000. We have your signature. No, I didn't. Look, you're not in trouble. We're investigating Ted Carthage. It's really gross. Does it have to do with drugs? Katie? Are you using crystal meth? It's, it's not like I'm shooting it. You're going to kill yourself. I know. I know. I'll stop, okay? Did Carthage give you the money to buy the drugs? He gave it to me because... I didn't. Had sex with him. It was only supposed to be oral. But he got all pushy. I just looked away and he did that somewhere else. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Katie. What you're describing is rape. No. Hate me. The law says it doesn't matter. You're under the age of consent. Candace said he wouldn't want to go all the way. Liar. Candace Tanner? Uh huh. What does she have to do with this? She hooks us up, gets the motel rooms and stuff. Ted pays like thousands of dollars. But the bitch took most of mine. I only made 500 bucks. Oh, Candy, you messed up. Real bad. Promoting prostitution's already hitting the big time, but promoting sex with a minor? All you can prove is Ted Carthage paid girls to have sex with him. You have nothing on my client other than the words of Junkie. You're pretty smart. Taking a cut from every girl's payday in cash so there's no money trail from Carthage to you? But see, we have a witness who'd like nothing better than to screw you for the 1500 bucks you owe her. Witness or willing participant? How much money did you make selling those other girls? You get sick of selling yourself, Candy? Shit. How do you think Ted Carthage is gonna... saw his mother's killer, you know that evidence. Seeing him triggered his memory. Or he figured it out when he saw Carthage in handcuffs with the same attorney from the lineup. Look, it doesn't matter. Nathan picked the wrong voice, so any ID he makes now is tainted. Well, can't we let a jury decide that? No judge would ever let this go before a jury. We can try and keep Carthage off the street for statutory rape until we can make the murder case. Might not have to. Shots fired at my salvation charities. Where's Nathan? He's in the crib.
This was today's look for Confessions of Teenage Drama Queen. I will see tomorrow we are doing a Christmas Carol by Disney. Please help my husband. He needs Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Please behave yourself. And as always, do what is right for you. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.